This video will show you how I replaced my old 4GB 3DS SD card with a 128GB SD card. And not just that, I will also show you an experiment on how to format the SD card properly. So let's get started. When you go to Nintendo.com, we can assume that the maximum SD card capacity for the 3DS is 32GB only. This statement is not accurate. The fact is, you can use any SD card capacity as long as it is formatted as FAT32. It's a pity to hear most people still believe this sh** than listening to my words. Okay, let's cut the crap and continue with the video. So this is my hack to the SXL with the essential apps and some games in it. Let's turn off the console, reboot it, and see how long it takes to get into the home screen. It doesn't matter if you have a hack or unhacked 3DS, you can still use this guide or my older guide. It took 8 seconds to boot into the home screen. I think it is pretty fast. Let's turn off the console and remove the SD card from it. It is a 4GB SD card that came with the console. Now I want to replace the 4GB SD card with a 128GB SD card. Do I have to rehack or redownload everything? Just continue with the video. The 3DS can only detect a FAT32 formatted SD card. If the target SD card is 32GB or lower, you can easily format it as FAT32 using Windows Formatter. But if the target SD card is larger than 32GB, you need a special tool to get the job done, like the GUI format. To some smart that think I'm a liar, proof if you can format your gigantic SD card as FAT32 with the built-in Windows Formatter. If you can do it, then maybe you were born outside the planet Earth. To download GUI format, see the link in the description. This app is not a virus, adware, or even malware. If your computer detects it as a threat, then maybe your computer is infected with something else. This is my console's SD card content, or we can call it the source SD card. If you want to replace the source SD card with a higher capacity SD card, you need to do a simple copy-paste procedure. If you don't know what it is, then sorry to say, you are pathetic. Now create a folder on your computer and name it as you like. We will copy everything from the source SD card to the computer. Now select all the files and folders and drag it to the newly created folder. Then insert the target SD card. In my case, it is the 128GB SD card. When we look at the file system, it says XFAT. Remember when I told you that the 3DS only detects FAT32 formatted SD card. So we need to reformat this SD card as FAT32. But since it is a 128GB SD card, we need a tool called UI Format to get it right. Run UI Format. Select the target SD card drive letter. In my case, it is the G drive. Do not select your other drive letter or else you will lose your important data. And maybe you might need to check your mental health regularly for the rest of your life. You are warned. But don't rush hitting that start button, or else? You will see this error notification. Please do not comment or try silly things because it is very easy to fix. Press the OK button, close the file explorer, and try reformat the SD card. There you go, now the SD card is formatted as FAT32. Open the SD card and check its properties. See, the file system is now FAT32. Let's continue. Open the backup folder and drag everything into the SD card. I repeat, everything. Before pulling the SD card out from the card reader, make sure to compare the content from the backup folder. Make sure they match each other. Insert the SD card into the console and boot it up. It took about 13 seconds to boot into the home screen using the new SD card. The time difference is about 5 seconds. So larger is lower even though it is a class 10 SD card. But the most important thing is, you don't lose a thing. Everything is there on the main screen. Strangely, some people don't believe this thing. They think this is a hoax because it is too easy. Yeah, whatever. 
The point is, if this method doesn't work for you, do not blame my guy, but blame it on your side. Maybe you don't realize that your SD card or the SD card adapter or the 3DS SD card slot has gone bad or something else, which is not my concern. When you open GUI format, I suggest not to alter the allocation unit size when trying to format any storage device. But some people do this blindly without knowing what they are. And in the end, they will have problems and always tend to blame everyone else exactly like a kid. In this section of the video, I will show you the side effect if you foolishly choose any random number for the allocation unit size. Suppose my target SD card is still blank. Choose the drive letter, close the file explorer, and choose the lowest number of the allocation unit size which is 512 bytes and format it. The formatting process will be a lot slower than usual. Close the GUI format. Now let's see its properties. The strange thing begins now. Remember that my SD card capacity is 128GB. Now it says only 53GB. But let's ignore it and continue restoring the content from the backup folder to the SD card. Insert the SD card into the console and boot it up. After waiting for some time, I conclude that it doesn't work. It might boot at some point later on, but I assume that you will encounter a black screen problem with this configuration. So that's a no-no. Press and hold the power button to turn off the console. We will try other configuration. Now we will try to set the allocation unit size to 1 kilobyte. and check its properties. The SD card capacity seems normal now. And do the same copy-paste procedure for the SD card content. Insert the SD card into the console and boot it up. And after waiting for 3 and a half minutes, we can see the home screen now. But wait a minute, the team resets to default. It means that it is not normal yet. Turn off the console and let's continue with the other configuration. Now let's set the allocation unit size to 2 kilobytes. I assume that you already know how to copy paste the content, so I skip that section. After about 1 minute and 47 seconds, we can see the home screen. But still, the theme is not right. Let's continue.
Next, we will set the allocation unit size to 4 kilobytes. After 56 minutes, we can see the home screen, but again, the theme is not right. Now let's try setting the allocation unit size to 8 kilobytes. And the console booted in 32 seconds, but it doesn't seem right because the theme is still missing. Next, we will try to set 16 kilobytes of the allocation unit size. And it booted in about 20 seconds, but the theme is still missing. Now let's compare it with the default value, which is 32 kilobytes. It took about 13 seconds to boot into the home screen, and the theme is now showing. Lastly, let's set the allocation unit size to 64 kilobytes. and it boots faster, only 10 seconds. But to be honest, I always use the default allocation unit size and never alter it. If you want to experiment with it, be my guest. So I think that's all I need to say about formatting as FAT32 with various allocation unit size. Maybe people think this is useless, but I think you should know it, as knowledge is power. Thanks for watching this video, stay safe.